Hey everyone, I'm Howard Pinsky, Senior XD Evangelist at Adobe. I think we can all agree that rearranging content within complex designs is something nobody wants to deal with. Let's take a look at how stacks in Adobe XD can help. Over to the right of this design, there's a lot of content that makes up this note. And as it's being built out, there will surely be times where you need to add, remove, or rearrange elements. Defining your first stack is incredibly simple. First, you'll want to place all the layers that you want included into a group. In this case, it'll be everything from the title of this note all the way down. Once grouped, you'll be able to enable the stack within the Properties Inspector, and XD will automatically determine the direction in which the content is laid out, in this case, vertically. Now that it's been defined, the various elements within the stack can be moved up or down by either dragging or using the Command or Control square bracket keys. And as they're moved, the layers shift around beautifully. Deleting anything from the group will automatically pull up everything below it, and adding content works in a similar fashion. When you duplicate a layer, it'll tuck it right underneath or beside depending on the direction of the stack, and creating new objects with a tool like the rectangle will split the layers to make room for the new addition. As you start to polish your design, you may want to fine tune the spacing between elements. Holding down the S key along with Shift will let you control the amount of space between all layers within the stack, or you can exclude Shift for individual adjustments. Now, even though we've defined a stack with all this content, we can nest additional stacks in either direction. For example, a stack can be enabled on this group of tags, which in this case will automatically be set to horizontal. They can now quickly be rearranged, duplicated, and edited. And since padding is enabled on the individual components, the background resizes as I type. As you've noticed, the direction of a stack is determined when created, but it can be changed at any time to rearrange content. As a quick example, these two elements are within a group, and when I enable a stack, it's set to vertical based on the initial orientation. But switching it over to horizontal will automatically rearrange not only the content within it, but shift the layers in the parent stack as well. But it goes even further than this. Over within the timeline note, we'll find a schedule where stacks is enabled, not only on the parent group, but the individual tasks as well. Here I can shift the various sections up or down, add in, edit, and rearrange entries. But what's neat about working with stacks is that even though this one in particular is defined vertically, the layers can also be shifted and offsetted horizontally. So, whether it's something as small as a few tags or entire panes of content, once you really start utilizing stacks within your workflows, rearranging and adding in content will no longer feel like a chore. And that's a look at how stacks and Adobe XD can help you add, remove, and rearrange objects in your complex designs. For more Adobe XD tips and tricks, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you all soon.